Hi, this is Sam Raku, a Senior Alliances Solutions Architect with GitLab. I've been working with GitLab for the last three years. I'm practicing IT for the last 22 years, through which I help many large-scale organizations in transforming their business objectives and plans into workable IT solutions. I have experience in multiple cloud technologies and very good knowledge in cloud native platforms, which enabled me to coach multiple large scale entities in the APAC region through their application modernization journey. I'm a DevOps Institute ambassador and public speaker in multiple cloud conferences across the globe. I'm really looking forward to speaking with you to you in, in the next session. I hope you will enjoy it as much as I will. Thank you very much. Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me in this session today where we will discuss how to accelerate Google Cloud Cloud adoption with GitLab. My name is Samar Akub. I'm a Senior Alliances Solutions Architect with GitLab. Well, I believe you agree with me that applications modernization has been a key requirement for most of the enterprise organizations today. Actually, in our discussion with many of these organizations, we found that they share four key pillars in their modernization journey. Applications migration, refactoring, and consolidation, cloud native applications development and deployment, infrastructure and platform automation, and measuring the overall maturity of the modernization life cycle using the industry available matrices like the one provided by DORA, the DevOps Research and Assistant. In the next few minutes, I will be focusing on how GitLab can help in streamlining and standardizing the applications, migration, refactoring, and consolidation process. For applications hosted in virtualized environments, whether we are talking about on-prem environments or in the cloud, Google provides a very well-structured process and migration tools to extract containerize and deploy these applications to Google Kubernetes services, whether we're talking about Google Kubernetes engine or Anthos Kubernetes service. The process simply consists of the following steps. Install, deploy, deploy and configure the migration tool, connect to the backend application VMs or virtualized uh, environment, generate migration plan, share that plan with the application SMEs and uh, owners, update the migration plan as per the gauged inputs before using it to generate the Kubernetes manifest uh, deployment, uh, deployment manifest, and then use them to deploy the application into the target Kubernetes clusters. So the question here, how can we uh, help in facilitating and standardizing the, the process. Well, basically, GitLab uh, role can help in, first, automating the overall uh, process or all the manual steps in the process, including the installation and configuration of the migration tools, the connection to the backend uh, uh, applications or VMs, and the generation of the migration plan and manifest and the deployment of the application into the target Kubernetes cluster. Second, facilitating the collaboration between all the subject matter experts of the application and even with the operations team responsible for the migration into a central place into a GitLab platform where people can share their inputs and feedback down to the line of code and make sure that everyone's feedback has been acted on and documented before deploying the application into the target environment. Third, screening and uh, scanning the, all the man generated manifests for any security vulnerabilities and make them available before we make the decision to merge all our changes and push the, the code into the, the deployment. So with GitLab, the process would be simply, first, a GitLab project with a, an automation pipeline responsible for the installation and the configuration of the Google-provided migration tool. 
Then also GitLab job in this automation project and this automation pipeline would be able to use that configured migration tool to connect to the backend application VMs and generate the migration plan. Then a migration, uh, uh, another separate GitLab project will be created with all the relevant users. The tenants for that migration, uh, migrated application will be added to that, uh, to that GitLab project. Along with the generated migration plan from the previous step uploaded into that project so people can start collaborating, use the GitLab collaboration capabilities and collaborate into the generated plan before using it again into a GitLab pipeline uh, job to generate the Kubernetes deployment manifest. Again, scan them for all security vulnerabilities and get everybody's feedback and review into these manifests before using, again, GitLab job in the pipeline to deploy the application. In this way, we are achieving the best from the two worlds. Google standard migration tools and process and GitLab end-to-end -end DevSecOps platform to automate, collaborate, and securely scan all the, uh, the generated manifests and artifacts before deploying them into the target environment. In the result, we have an end-to-end -end standardized repeatable process that can, can be used to migrate and consolidate and refactor applications from the backend application, uh, from the backend environments. Speaking of refactoring, GitLab DevSecOps capabilities that can be used to refactor and redevelop these migrated applications as per need. If you'd like to learn more about GitLab capabilities, please feel free to jump into gitlab.com today and create your own trial account where you will be able to have access to GitLab ultimate features and start building GitLab projects and, and try them. Also, please feel free to scan the barcodes here to learn how GitLab has helped other customers in achieving their business objectives and overcome any challenges in their application modernization lifecycle. Uh, definitely get, feel free to, to get in touch with GitLab representatives or even Google representatives for a free consultation on your DevSecOps journey. I hope you enjoyed this session with me and looking forward to speak to you in future events. Thank you very much.